common um, measure of tilt is based on the SAT and ACT and other scholastic aptitude tests, which commonly um, include uh, a math uh, subtest and a verbal subtest. Uh, and you compute the difference uh, between the math and verbal subtests on that or any other test. And you can get a measure of tilt when you do it for the SAT or the ACT. Uh, you get two forms of tilt, uh, potentially. That would be math tilt, where people do better on the math than verbal test. Uh, or verbal tilt, will people do better on the verbal than the math test? Um, and the important aspect of tilt, or one important aspect, is it's totally unrelated uh, to general ability or IQ. Uh, yet, uh, as I'll uh, discuss later on, uh, it still predicts important outcomes in life. Uh, that makes it unique because as a general rule, cognitive tests, uh, cognitive measures derive their validity largely uh, through G, uh, through general ability. Um, but tilt is an exception uh, to this general rule where uh, it still continues to predict life outcomes, particularly in specific domains uh, after you account for IQ, uh, after you control for IQ using the, the lingo of psychometrics.